So this is a special edition of the Wine Challenge. I'm still here in New York, <laughs> still in Scarsdale, <laughs> We're not gonna still in Zaki's, <laughs> and still with Andrew McMurray. But it's fun for me because you, when you said to me, let's do a sherry tasting. And, you know, I, I love sherry. I, I have really fond memories of going down to Jerez. I still love uh, Manzanilla. I like uh, Lustal, Ama Sinistra. Uh, sherries. So when you said to let's do a challenge on sherry, I said definitely because we're not getting a lot of sherry in Italy where I live, nor do we get much in Hong Kong where right. I also live. And it's just great. So what a great idea. So let's do it. Okay. The you know what got us all fired up about this is over the holidays we did this lineup for our customers in the store, and just standing in the store watching people taste and the mm. new faces that came out and the amount of people the response we got. You know, you got to follow the consumers, and people flipped over this tasting. Right away, you're getting that salty character, which mm -hmm. I love in sherry. It's like salted almonds with lemon rind. Yeah. When I smell that, I, I want to be at the beach in Spain uh, eating some grilled <laughs> fish and having a super cold one of these. Really good depth of fruit, super dry, fresh, and again, that nutty character. Right. But not, you, not too nutty, you know what I mean? No, it's, and your palate's just, you know, going crazy. It's just, you know, it's just, you want to eat something. It just makes you want to drink and have some tapas, some olives, and like I said, a little tiny grilled fish or get that sherry, yeah. Get that sherry smile yeah. going. The, what I like about it is certainly, you know, the, like the, you know, the lightness and the refinement of it, too. Because when you smell it, you might you, people might get a little fooled into thinking that it's going to be maybe a little richer and sweeter than what it is. And to me, it seems like a manzanillo or manzanilla, maybe like a gitana or something like that. But I'm not sure. But I really like this. So I'm uh, I'm going to give this 93. Okay. So this is from a group called Equipo Novasos, mm -hmm. and they go around to the small houses and they buy single barrels. Both of different Fino. So, so they go around, it's a, like the barrel of a Fino Sherry. Correct. Yeah, cool. And, you know, this is the, I don't know this. the 35th bottling, so they they number all their awesome. bottlings. And, you know, it's kind of, like I said to Jeremy, it's kind of like the negociation concept from uh, from Bone in, in Sherry. How cool. And it's, yes, yeah, Saca de Junio. De junio de, de 2002. Yeah, and the producer that they bought the barrel from is uh, Valdes, Valdespino. Okay, Valdespino always made beautiful wines, which was owned by the mother of the Sandeman family. Did oh, really? You know that? Yeah. There you go. How you cool. Teach us a little something. Whoa. We got pricing on that, right? That's 55, 55 bucks. 55 bottle. I don't know, 93 points. This is beautiful. That's yeah, great. I really thought it was more than Fino. Like, it was more like Manzanilla because of that intense saltiness. Mm -hmm. But I'm loving this wine. Wow. What a cool wine. That's great. Great tasting so far. Okay. Moving up the ladder. Number two. This is taking on a little bit of that Rancio character, a little. But then it's sort of blowing off and going to. It's some sort of leaf. It's like a um, of a plant. Maybe some geranium. Some. Um, it's unique, and you like you like you said, you get that kind of yeah, in, like the candied the, fruit, right. dried candied fruit, Turkish delight. Full body, balanced, really dense. But that dried orange peel and lemon peel character. Right, I was getting a lot of the orange peel and on the nose. And then nutty on the finish. Yep. But not salted almonds, just really almost roasted almonds. Yep. Wow. See the way that hangs on the palate, you know, the, yeah. the, like the saltiness to it? Mm. Really hangs. But you get that slightly... Um, how do you describe that, like, decaying character on the finish? <laughs> I don't want to use that word. That gives it <laughs> a negative connotation. No, but it's, you know, it's sherry. It's a fortified wine. Right. That means, you know, they've added uh, alcohol to it. Um, 
after the fermentation, so it's a little bit higher alcohol. But the funny thing is, when I started drinking sherry in the 80s, uh, it was considered very high alcohol wine. Now some of these are around 15.5. They have less alcohol than California Chardonnay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like anyway, I'm, I'm 91 on that. It's quite stylish and, and interesting. Okay, so say, obviously there are, there a are manzanilla zero. pasada. Right. Okay, so it's aged. Right. Yeah. And, aged manzanilla. And the producer on this is Laguita. Okay, well Laguita is my house pour. There you go. Awesome. And price point on that is 65. 65. So I wonder how long they aged there. it for. Yeah. It says in the packaging there. How oh, cool. How funny that the, the fino, the first fino was much more salty than the, uh, than the manzanilla. Normally manzanilla is more salty. So. Right. So we've obviously gotten a little darker. Yeah, now we're color. moving to a different style. Yeah. Let's see. Yeah. Like yeah, this is dry, so we have yeah. we have an amontillado, and I, I like the caramel almond. This is really beautiful, focused, gorgeous. Yeah. Wow. wow. And then a tiny bit of sort of sea salt on the finish. For sure. That, that's, Walnuts. I think, what the, yeah. But to the caramel component, it gives it, you know, right from the front, pulls you right to the back. It's That's gorgeous. And, and what I like about it is it's so clean. Right. And fresh. And all three of these, you know what I mean? It's, it's not what you think. It really isn't. I'm, gonna, I'm a 93 on this. I was even tempted to go... 94. It's so gorgeous. Okay, so it's La Bote, La Bote de Palo Cortado. Oh, Palo Cortado. Right. Okay, fine. And the producer, that's, that's a... the, the Ray Fernando de Castilla. Wow. That's good, isn't it? 65 bucks. Yep. Cool. So, you know, again, not an expensive for sherry, but for what the wine is. Yeah, but the thing is, you're, you're not going to open this and drink a bottle while you... I mean, you could, but you might be, it might be painful in the morning. <laughs> so it's 20% alcohol. But anyways, I'm loving that. I wasn't thinking of Palo Cortado, but it's a, a, along the style of um, Amontillado also. Gorgeous. It's delish, right? Wow. Okay. Pulling up the rear. And, now, and it also has a smoky character to it, too. Mm -hmm. Almond. Look at, I don't know if you can see as I'm pouring this, just the, um... Yeah, this is going to be Pedro Jimenez. Look at that. It has to be. Just This is like the great over ice cream. Yep. Right. This is the... Yeah. <laughs> dried dried uh, grapes. It's more like syrup than sherry. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can just get those grapes. They're just... I wonder how they even... It's like sultanas or, you know, raisins. Yeah. Well, it's really sultanas. It's some, and then some dates. Dates and, is what I was going to say. Yes, yeah, smoky. Looks like it just, someone just took a date and squeezed it right in there. Wow. The thing but is, not, you can't drink a lot of that. Actually, you should serve this by the teaspoon. There you go. <laughs> but not like clawingly, disgustingly no, no. sweet. You know what I mean? And the, the acidity has a really bright acidity. And what I like about it is it's not at all... Um, Volatile city. It's just fresh. Uh, it's like candied fruits, like lemons and tangerines, and then that sultana character. So it's just so good. And like I said, what's cool with this is you drink a glass and you just put it over a vanilla ice cream. It's just amazing. <laughs> I think I don't, know, I don't know if I want to put it on the ice cream. I'm liking it so much. I mean, just the way that lingers in your mouth. That's delicious. Let's see on that one. Now I understand why when we did the in-store tasting, people had that little sherry smile. Yeah, that's, this is really great tasting. Um, I'm 94 on that, almost 95. It's amazing. Okay, so you obviously are right when the Pedro Jimenez. Yeah. And the producer on that is um, Ray Fernando de Castillo. And the price point on that is 95. Uh, 95. That's fine, but that, that's going to last you for a long time. Yeah. Like I said, you drink it by the thimble. 
<laughs> or, 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 right, by the teaspoon. Yes. Yeah, so. And this is uh, this looks to be a 500 ml bottle. So, for you know, you put this in the category of dessert wines, and you know the the great sauternes of the so, world. So, for this idea again, well, who are these people? They're, I mean, it's a group of uh, Spanish guys or, or foreigners that go in and buy the barrels. Yeah. Too. And you know, and it's it's they're probably just like when you, you're starting to see more of it in, in Scotland right now. You know, yeah. these people are going in and finding like the undiscovered treasures that maybe you get some of these smaller houses that don't have the ability to push themselves out there like a loose down and, and, and promote yeah. themselves commercially. These guys are, you know, they're the little treasure hunters of the region. Oh, cool. Putting under their label. It's a cool concept and we're doing really, really well with it. So Wow. Well thanks for the taste. Fun, that was fun, a, fun. that was thanks again for the there special edition on Sherry. There you go, cheers.